This is the Medical X IV arm. And now we are going to show you how to assemble the IV stand. First, we take, take the stand and unscrew this part. When the screw is unscrewed, we can put it through the foot or the base of the IV stand. And then we hold it in place and screw the stand on top of the base. When the IV stand is screwed firmly on the base, we can adjust the height of the IV stand. And now we can hang the IV bottle on the IV stand. Now we are going to show you how to replace the skin and veins of the Medical X IV arm. First, we have to remove the white plate at the end of the arm. There is a screw that we can unscrew the plate. Put the screw down and then remove the plate gently. Now, we have to remove the hand skin by rolling the skin from the wrist. And now we can start rolling the arm screen, arm skin from bicep and up to the wrist. The arm skin is made from a flexible material. So try to stretch and roll and remove it. arm skin is removed, you can remove the veins from the arm internal material. You'll notice there are two loops of the veins. After you have removed the veins from the IV arm, you can place new ones back into the arm. You need to have two tubes to do that. One small one and one big one. The small one is 90 centimeters and the big one is around 150 centimeters. First, we place the small one back. To do that, we have to make sure that the veins go into the groove and around the first loop and then go back. Make sure that you secure the vein well by pressing it deep into the groove. After you have placed the first vein in, you can now take the longer one and put it in around the loop at the dorsal of the hand. Don't worry if the vein is not completely secured yet. 
because afterwards when you roll back the skin it will put the vein securely in its place. Now that the veins are back in the arm, we can place back the skin. First, we place back the arm skin. We first have to unroll it. Make sure that the outside of the skin is facing outside again. After you've unrolled the arm skin, you can place the IV arm vertically and then put the skin around the arm again. Gently pull down the skin to make it fit around the arm again. So now that the skin is on the IV arm, you can see that the vein has moved. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll up the skin to check where the veins are and put it back in its place securely into the groove. It may happen that the vein moved up too much and that it's not long enough. In that case, you can pull the vein to make it fit again. So if the veins is still too short, you can pull a little bit to make sure that you have enough vein to put back in the groove. And if you pull too much, you can pull on the other side of the vein to make the vein shorter again. Now that the IV arm is connected with the IV bottle, we can fill the bottle with simulated blood. First, we take off the lid of the bottle and then we can hang the bottle on the IV stand. Now we make sure to place the clips on the two open veins. When the blood start to come out, we can close the veins. But do not close the veins completely yet because air needs to come out. You can also use a container to collect blood that is flowing out of the veins. And now that the IV bottle is filled with blood, we can release the, the clip to let the blood flow into the IV arm. And when the blood comes from the open tubes, you can close the clip. Then now you know that the IV arms is the IV arm is filled with blood. And when you notice that there's still some bubbles in the veins, you can open the clip again to make sure that all the bubbles are out. And then you can close the clip again. 
and now the IV arm has blood. So we find the right place where the vein is, insert the needle and immediately you can see that the blood sample can be collected. And you can also see that there is no leakage and the skin heals itself. And you can also place a catheter in the IV arm. We have a catheter here. Make sure that we find the vein. Insert the catheter and you can see that there's blood there as well. Now we are going to show you how to put the deltoid add-on on the IV arm. There is the white screw of the IV arm, you can unscrew it. Then you can take out the plate and in the deltoid you can see that the bone part, you can take it out. Once it pulled out, you can attach the bone to the arm and screw the screw. Make sure that you fixate the bone to the arm. When the screw is screwed on, the bone is attached to the arm, you can place back the deltoid. With the deltoid attached to the arm, you can perform intramuscular injection training.